the advanced image gallery and this is one of the things i can really congratulate the add-on developers who are making these widgets for elementor in that they got something right that elementor struggled with at the beginning now I have a very strong photographic background. And one of the things when you bring photos in, especially if you think in terms of InDesign where you work with page layouts, you want things nicely cropped and aligned. And I found always with Elementor when I want to make an image gallery, the images were all over the place, especially if you're working in free. Well, they, they've updated, they've upgraded that in the last year plus months. But I, I still go to always to these add-ons when I want to do a proper image gallery layout. So let's look at this advanced image gallery by BD Themes in their element add-on pack for Elementor, both free and pro. I'm going to create a new section, just a normal one section, and then one column section. I look for advanced again, and then you will find it here, advanced image gallery, and I drop it. Next, you will have to add images. So dropping in there and grabbing a host of images. I think I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, four, six, eight. Okay, we put on eight there and then they will display. And at the moment I saw a display like this very fuzzy, I was about to start contacting the developers because that's what I do. And then I realized image size, you have to go and change it. This would be minimum medium, but I would, nope, not even medium large. And then you will get nice looking images, right? So this is the display for this. And this is its standard display. All these images have been cropped to fit into these boxes, which I really like. This is good enough for me. Then the great features with this advanced Im image gallery is that it is a light box carousel display. Why do I say light box carousel display? Because many page builders and elements would give you the feature of a light box, but it is image by image by image. And that means you have to click and then you have to click on the next one and click out and the next one. Not so with this one. You just scroll through this one perfectly. I love it. And I'm starting to get very, very hungry. I'm more curious how the photographer took this photo. Hmm, a challenge for me. Let's look at what you can do in terms of styling. We click on our thingy and then I think let's go to layout first, play from here. Columns, we can change that. Three is not going to make sense because there's going to be a gap. We can put it on two. Okay, also very nice stretches it, very nice. And I'm pretty sure if we go to the section, we make it full width, it will give us the entire stretch for that. I'm going to put it back on boxed. Let's look at if we put it again back on three. And then we play around with image gallery and we go to masonry switch that on and now you will see that your portrait photos like this that these ones that are only this one is in portrait mode will be taking up this space what is important with this kind of photo is you have to always try and get it one of your first or second photos which means i have to go reorder it here unfortunately i cannot do it within the plugin i have to come into it and drag it i'm going to drag it as my first photo and that should make a significant change to it we still have a little bit of problems here with the display and that's when you now have to go into your layout and maybe look if four can do better nope if two can do better oh okay two is very interesting let's see five and eventually, when it just doesn't want to play nice with you, what you have to do is go into your photos, image gallery, and which, let's see this, this photo. I'm curious now, we delete one photo. Let's see what happens if we delete one. It still does this. So it's going to do two, 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 two. So this one has to be at the end with two, two, two. Okay, figuring out how this thing works. Okay, you have to have a little bit of a mathematical inclination. Let's add two more photos to it and just see what it does for our Mason review. And it adds it here at the bottom. Spectacular. No. Okay, I am not a big fan actually of masonry. 
and I would recommend that if you do masonry, do it with many, many photos so that you do not have these awkward layouts here. I would still say the algorithm for this layout is a little bit strange. I don't get why it pops these two here at the bottom and not there. So it it's sort of like two in a row and then the third one come up here. It's not very equally spaced in my opinion. Masonry, you go away and we go back to our grid display. Now we have nine. So for our layout, let's go back to three, two, three, two, three. Good. Right. What else can we do with this? There are two more skins, they call it, available for it. The next one is called hidden skin. All your images will be hidden and instead you get a button or a clickable link down here. And you can style this one to match nicely with your website. If you click on it, it will open now the light box for you. The third skin, click here and go back to skin and click on carousel is one of the ones I really enjoy. It's a normal carousel for you. Good, nicely displayed. You don't have to worry about those images that are not the same ratio that they will be cut off or extend beyond the line here at the bottom. Layout, we had a look at that and we also have column gap here. You can apply the column gap. Your icon size is this one in the middle. I think it's a convenient, nice size, but you can make it extra large if you want to. If your photos have captions, you can activate them here. Mine do not have. So my photos, they do not have it. Okay. Additional options is all about your overlay. So if I put it to the left, you will see the navigation or your little link appears here on the left. And this one, additional options, will determine top or bottom. I like this control over it, center, center, and you can apply a tilt effect. If I hover over it now, you will see it will give a little bit of a shadow, making you feel like it's being tilted. Then for the slider, seeing that we are viewing the slider at this moment, you can have the normal settings, autoplay, yes, how long is the interval? 7,000 milliseconds. That is, of course, seven seconds. And pause on hover. Here it is. I like it. If you pause, if you hover over it, it will pause and it loops. And the center slide will give you the slide in the middle. This will apply if you have a carousel and you have four images, which I don't think is the case here. And then navigation is, of course, your arrows. You can choose arrows, dots at the bottom, and you can choose where they are placed. Top left. Oh, up there. Okay, this is something different. Always interesting when they do something like this. That's a little bit unexpected. I've not seen this. And I like the fact that they prepare to give me something that I may never use. Or may use. You never know. If you center align everything on your website to the left, that will be a nice feature. Let's just go back to the image gallery for good measure. Go back to default. And now you see the gap has been applied. If you go now to layout, you will see two sliders. I like that they've split these two. Many widgets will just give one slider and they will be working in tandem. But what I like is that you can do something like this. You can make the gaps between the rows bigger and the columns a little bit smaller. That also has a very nice effect to it. Right, and then the icon size, and we've talked about where you can put all of that. Then you have normal styling, you have your link style over here. You can give a color to your link if you want to change that. Maybe in this case, make it orange. And of course, you have also your overlay here for your images. This is a really nice widget. If you are interested in displaying many, many images like this, I highly recommend using this one. It does what I want it to do. It displays very nicely and it is highly adjustable and fits in very nicely. Let's go have a look on the front end. Always a good idea to see if it does what it is supposed to do. Mouth-watering delight. Yummy mommy. And there we go. Yeah, I know people who sit and look at photos of food all the time. We all have our strange habits. The Advanced Image Gallery by BD Themes and their Element Pack add-on for Elementor. And this is JB with Websites for Beginners.